That was stupid. I think that it's absolutely disgraceful when an Xfinity driver who has no wins is able to move to the Cup Series when an Xfinity driver with two wins is still scratching and clawing looking for a car somewhere. That is the state of this series. Richard Petty chooses Brian Scott to pilot his second car for 2016. And... Regan Smith, who has won twice in the Xfinity series this year, is out of a ride, and there's no telling where the hell he's going to end up if he's going to be racing at all next year which is sadistic because Brian Scott has never won a race no no races won um, constantly tears up cars including himself and others in the Xfinity series um, his brief flashes of glory in the Sprint Cup series have come as a result of an RCR affiliated 33 which becomes not RCR affiliated when it's um, anyone but Ty or Scott in that car which is kind of horrifying to think yeah yeah I'd say RCR is a better team than freaking Richard Petty Motorsports is right now. RPM, a step above Roush. Not saying much, okay? There's no room at RCR for Scott anyway. Especially if he wanted to be in the Cup Series to begin with. But still, come on. So yeah, that's my opinion on this whole situation. It's disgraceful when a driver who has proven themselves to be pretty much a dud, they're not going to go anywhere in, in especially the cup. Over a proven winner in the cup series as well as a as a annual winner in the Xfinity series. His best options are in the truck series. Smiths. I think Smith's best bet in anywhere is to pick up a underfunded team in the Xfinity series or the truck series run with them for a couple of years and hope for a spot at Ganassi to open up or something in the future I anticipate they'll move to a three car series a three car team again with Kaufman's money eventually and if franchising goes through which who the hell knows with that but I anticipate Ganassi will go to a three car operation I also anticipate Larson will move, but anyway, that's not the point of this video. It's a sad, sad state of affairs when money comes before talent. I'm looking at you, Clint Boyer.